I'm Keely Bryce, and we're here at the Artist 360 Retreat in Bentonville. As an author, this one is fairly easy for me because I can document word count. So I usually break down a project into how many words I think the entire project will be, which is usually between 50,000 and 100,000 words. And then I can pretty much calculate based off of my working days um, and the hours I think I can put in how many words a day I do. And I usually break it down realistically for myself, looking at the day ahead. So if I know that I have other life stuff or kids stuff going on that day, I might not have as high a word count as a day where it's just me and my writing. And I found that celebrating after every small success of hitting my goals is super crucial. And the celebration doesn't have to be food. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It doesn't have to be material. Sometimes I'm just in my study and I'm dancing around because I just wrote a paragraph that I feel like is so good. It's come from some other place. And I just reread that paragraph a few times and do my little dance and then get back to work. So I actually have um, what I think of as two categories of my artist network. I have the people that are friends and cheerleaders and we support each other. We're from many different disciplines. We go to each other's events. Um, we talk a lot about the process, our individual process, and um, help each other meet goals, um, specifically with, you know, celebrating the good times. But when it comes down to the work itself, I have a complete um, artist community of writers who write specifically in the same genre that I do. And those people, generally, I find them on the internet. They're strangers to me. And these are the people that feel very comfortable giving me critiques. They can give me constructive criticism and they aren't as worried about my friends who have seen me struggling and you know, hear about how hard it is to be an artist. Those people have a harder time giving um, constructive criticism I found. So I definitely think the two categories are both just as crucial and just as necessary to my artistic practice.